One of the things I think a lot of people need to understand is we aren't a museum piece. The Inupiaq people are a living people and a living culture. Even though we're in northern Alaska, which covers this vast area from Nome all the way over the Canadian border, is that there is this extreme value of interconnectedness and interdependence. It's a hunting society, a gathering society, from thousands of years. This is what creates our culture. That special relationship between humans and the natural world and the animals, and that it teaches you how to have a, a society that doesn't do too much harm to the world. Love and respect for nature, for one another, for our elders, very, very fundamental value, key to, key to life. So our values are something that bind us all. The importance of sharing with one another, the importance of spirituality, and the connection to the land, our traditions, how we hunt, sharing of stories and songs and dances. I'm Inipak. I'm from the Arctic Ocean. Inipak. I am Inipak. It's very important to me. It's, it's who I am as a person. And we're very proud of who we are and we want to continue that. It'd be busy, busy, busy all through the day. You get up and you just go right to work, you know, right to work. There was always something to do. There was never any idle time. The only idle time we had was after we eat and before we go to bed. One of the older people would just be just relaxing, laying down there and saying, you know, it'd be really nice to hear a story. And then just organically, someone would just start telling the story. Storytelling for the Nupiak people is very important because it not only created that sense of community, but is a way to pass on wisdom to the next generation. It was like TV, you know? <laughs> it was just like, it was as good as anything, you, any movie you've ever seen. And the storyteller told it so clearly that it was just as powerful as any of the greatest movie blockbusters you've ever seen. There was a reason behind the stories that we were told because they held traditional knowledge. They held things that we might need to know in life, whether it was about how to find food or how to survive, or it was about like, well-being and the importance of connecting with people and being a good member of the community. We all do stories. We all live in stories. We all tell stories to our friends and, and they need to be told. They need to be heard.
The recurring type of character in Anupiak stories is the manslayer. And the manslayer is kind of this bad guy. And I think really what's at risk when the manslayer comes into story is the livelihood of individuals and the whole community. And so the manslayer is really used as a way to say, don't act only for yourself. Always hold the community in your heart. Oftentimes in these stories, there is one person that will stand up. And, and what this humble person will represent who faces that manslayer is a return to order, a return to true living in the community. And it just takes that one person. It could just be that one person that can help to change everything. Because everyone wants to live a good life. Everyone wants to have a good community.